Finally, Greeks have been forming long queues outside banks across Athens in the run-up to a referendum to decide the country's financial fate. Banks across the nation have been shut all week to prevent mass money withdrawals. Only some branches have remained open to help pensioners get their maximum 120 euros a week. The ordinary citizens have a 60 euro cap on their daily withdrawals. Greece badly needs a third bailout from the Euros and Rescue Fund, especially after it defaulted on its 1.6 billion euro repayment to the IMF. The Greek government called a referendum on Sunday over the latest proposals offered by creditors. The country has become the first developed nation to default on the IMF debt repayment. Operative is Constantine Venezuela, our correspondent from Athens, joins us live. Constantine, what does Greek Greece look like now after it defaulted on its debt? How are people reacting? Good afternoon, Hassan. Uh, three days to go uh, until uh, Sunday's referendum that sent shockwaves uh, among uh, European leaders, finance ministers, and the European elites, uh, really, Hassan. Um, if any of our viewers uh, were looking for evidence uh, that what uh, European governments uh, and elites want uh, this week uh, in Greece is a regime change. Uh, look no further than yesterday's front page um, of the London Times, uh, where a high-ranking politician from Angela Merkel's uh, CDP party coalition uh, said that Greece will never receive a cent um, unless Tsipras and Varoufakis uh, leave uh, the government. Uh, so, with this amount of obvious, um, of the will to, to intervene um, into the internal politics of Greece, uh, we, we, we doubt ourselves whether uh, there is uh, any genuine intent uh, on behalf of Europe to actually achieve an agreement uh, with Greece next week. Syriza uh, certainly hopes to return uh, to the table of negotiations after uh, the referendum, uh, reinforced uh, by a no vote, of course, uh, which we believe is, is highly likely, even though there is polarization. Uh, Greeks are divided concerning the referendum, but I think the no vote um, has gained uh, tremendous momentum this week, uh, perhaps uh, slightly more, as, or as much as uh, the, the yes vote has. Uh, therefore, we know... We know what would it mean for Greece if there would be a no vote? Uh, a no vote would certainly add tremendous leverage to negotiations, uh, but it, 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 it would also uh, scare, is, is the word, I think, uh, European elites who don't want uh, to even imagine uh, going into negotiations of this uh, magnitude with Spain uh, after the Spanish elections where the Podemos, the, the, the Spanish citizen equivalent, uh, are expected to win the national vote there. Uh, so, you know, democratically elected anti-austerity governments are rising uh, in Europe, uh, Hassan, and of course Germany and the financial centers uh, do not want to even think uh, that a second or a third series uh, in France, in Italy, in Portugal, uh, in Spain will be demanding concessions uh, and, the ch and the change of mainstream uh, European policy. This, the, this is, is, the, is the prospect uh, that has been scaring European elites uh, all the way down up to the referendum. All right, for us, who's Constantine Venezuela's reporting from Athens. Thanks, Constantine.